Still, you're watching Bob World TV. It's your boy, Zoe Mega Million. I'm here with my boy, Scoop the Barber, aka Johnny Famous. Yes, sir. So, just a little history. This is uh, one of the famous dances for Big Daddy Kane, Scoop and Scrap Lover. And uh, we have that in common. I used to dance for Special Ed, so as a dancer and just a student of hip hop all my life, just loving it. We have that in common, but also, you know, it's that, that picture that I've seen a lot of barbers use on their Facebook as their profile pic. It is school cutting Kane's head, you know, and him being a barber, like, how did you come about that, being a barber? Um, well, first of all, that, that picture was just, you know, we was preparing for a smooth operator video. Okay. So, he just took that picture. I, I never thought that picture would be, you know, that famous, man. I'm skinny, mad hair, my belly and shit. <laughs> and, um, as far as a barber, I, I, I like drawing. I'm the only child, so drawing, like, you know, I'm in this beat competition tomorrow. Right. Um, rapping, all, all of that is like me, boy. My right. no brothers and sisters, just me and my mom. You know, God bless her, so it was just past two years ago. But um, all the drawing and all that, so I just was like, I right, cut my own hair with the clippers. Like to this day, I, I can't let Will put a part of my joint. You right. know what I mean? Right. But um, just cutting hair was right there before we go to Latin quarters. Right, we get ready to go. Yo, so you can just give me a line. You can give me. So at first, I just had the um, the um, the, 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 the adjustable, the adjustable joints, yeah. and that did everything. Like yeah. I, I pushed the blade down so it could, you know, like line, yeah. line nigga up. But um, niggas had some scabs, yeah, you know, because it was like four or five cats I'm cutting, designs, lazy ladies from MOP, right. ice and smoke, you know, everybody was at my mom's crib. My mom was like the person we opened, got the Gatorade and, the, um, you know, she was just, right. just fun. She was at my mom's. That's how we started cutting it. It was like, because I could draw. Right. And the amazing thing is like, Big Daddy Kane, I like, that's why I try to tell a lot of people like, even cutting hair is synonymous with hip hop because the haircut, you also remember artists from his style and part of his style was his haircut. Yeah. And besides, I mean, the two most famous flat tops or high tops was Big Daddy Kane and Baby Kid to play. Yeah. He said who flat top moves at 89. You know what I mean? So yeah. you're a part of hip hop history because- it, it, all, it, all, it all was also um, doing something new with the hair. Right. From parts to like, you know, like something different because that whole era, really nobody really try to dance like nobody. Right. Rap now, it's a whole other world. Yeah, yeah. They that person high, you you want to sound just like them or dress like. I don't get that logic. Yeah, yeah. But when we came up, our era, and I, I do want to give it up to all the barbers. I'm not the sickest barber. I'm probably one of the most known because you know my involvement with came in the movement. Right. So big up to anybody that's cut hand. So then I'm proud that you got me as a judge at the next one, Barber That's um, right. Battle Contest. So I big up to that. Big up to all the dancers that didn't get, don't get enough acknowledgement due. Big up to all y'all, because we all danced together from the E Train to Latin Quarter, Union Square, Rooftop, Juice and Wiz, just every dancer that's looking at this or hearing me, big up to y'all. You know what I mean? Like I said once again, been fortunate, I got, you know, with Kane, I let Kane rhyme for me, you know what I mean? I said, you know what, I need a rapper down with me, so I put him down, and I just went, big up the scrap, even big up to my boy, Mr. C2, man, whole hip hop world. Um, so you put the, the, the parts in the eyebrow, trying to wild out. Yeah, I mean, it was like, yeah, that, and a little, you know, the little lines, yeah. it was like just drawing, like, like how you would do graffiti and be like, what is something different that you can do to a damn haircut? Right, right. A little, it was something simple, and he let me try whatever, so it was like, yeah, and it was just cool. Like, right. So who's Kane's barber now? Um, Kane got the little afro, you know, <laughs> I had, now, now, oh, big up to Diddy Mo and them too, because right. when I did start, when I first started the, the, the blowout thing, right. like a little curly, um, did he mow? He showed me a little trick with the, you know, comb you little right that little hair down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So big up to him. So I, he he cut my hair for a while too. Right. So I had Kane joint because everybody, all right, this this another thing too. Just like your clothes, everybody can not rock uh, uh, the same haircut. Like right. even if it's flop, everybody got different shaped heads, face. Like I always like they trust me to be like, let me just do. Cut your head and go to your face, man. Right. If he got a move on, they ain't gonna look fly on you. Right. I never, you know what I mean? You got big head, like certain stuff. That's so right. Kane let me try, you know, different cuts and stuff. And he always trust me. 
Right. 